So guys, I'm not gonna climb in here because it gets really dark once you climb in here, but I did wanna talk just a little bit about my experience with the Winter Dream 11 tarp by Underground Quilt Company. But I was gonna say, I wanna talk about my experiences with the Underground Quilt Company Winter Dream 11. So this is, of course, that tarp mentioned, and it is a nine point something foot by 10 point something foot, I think, uh, tarp. And I've been using this for some of you, especially more observant viewers, I've been using this for the past few months, especially as like a wind break and uh, just as a fun overall way to kind of spice up the videos and as a background. But I've also been using it, as you guys can see here, in its most right and proper form as a shelter. And I've just been kind of playing around with it and having fun with it and not really using it the way it was designed to be used. Of course, this tarp, most right and proper, is designed to be used with hammock camping. And so it's an asymmetrical that is designed for primarily hammock camping or hammock style like work and this is designed to go over your hammock but obviously I don't do hammocks so I just was like let's get this and let's totally mess with its design or its original purpose because I'm not gonna be using it like it's supposed to be used anyways through that I've actually found that it's been a really capable tarp and I really have enjoyed the way that this is set up with its different quarter panels which you guys can see in use. It has four quarter panels which I'll do closer ups of this stuff a little bit later. It has four quarter panel holes essentially uh, or little attachment points where you can lift up each quarter panel and that's what I've actually done here because I wanted to show this thing kind of like in full use using multiple of its different special features. So I have all four quarter panels lifted up and then I have some tent pegs down there, pegging it down. And then of course, like I'm using these uh, tarp or these tent peg holes here to actually lift up these panels. So I just wanted to kind of show it in this configuration because this uses a lot of what I feel makes this shelter really awesome. And as far as custom shelters go, I've actually found that this shelter is pretty awesome in the fact, or two facts really, and that is one, that it has all these different customizations. And another thing I really like about it, and I'm not sure if I'll show it in the video, but essentially this shelter can collapse in half or collapse. It has buttons uh, running on the sides of the shelter so that when you, or not shelter, but tarp, so that when you are taking this down, you can actually button together the shelter in half and I've actually really enjoyed that because as most of you guys know, I do a lot of solo operations. So one of the big things for me is having to manhandle, you know, a nine foot or like basically a 10 by 11 foot tarp or not a 10 foot by 11 foot tarp is really cumbersome when you're out here alone. So I really enjoy the fact that this tarp has buttons on the side of it so that you can effectively shrink its size in half. That's like really, really awesome and I really enjoyed that. And that's, I know it seems really kind of like, oh, they're just buttons, but I actually really liked that fact. And like I said, that allows me to easily put this shelter away. So another thing that's very nice is of course this shelter being right and properly made is waterproofed on all of the seams. So on like this black thing here, you guys can see here, this has a lot of stitching to it. And what I've really enjoyed, and you can notice in some of the videos, is all these areas have actually been seamed over with waterproofing so that this shelter or this tarp is completely waterproof. And that I found to be really awesome. And I really enjoyed that extra thought that they put in to waterproofing all the seams. So essentially every single seam that is in here has been waterproofed and I really, really like it. The next that. thing I like about the shelter is its material. This is a Sil, uh, Sil Poly. Now they do make two different ones. The 11 and I believe the 12, they make three different winter dreams. They make uh, the 11 and the 12, I believe are out of Sil Poly and then the uh, winter dream 13, sorry, these names are a little confusing, but the 13 is out of Sil Nylon. But I've really enjoyed this Sil Poly. It's really slick and I found it to be very abrasion resistant. I mean, I wouldn't try like dragging this across thorns, but in my experience when I've been out here and I've kind of built shelters close to like thorn bushes or rose bushes, this uh, material has been very scratch resistant and very cut resistant. I don't have any cuts in it so far. Once again, I haven't been intentionally trying to cut it. 
I will say this uh, material is very thin. It's about as thin as a sheet of paper, which is really nice in the fact that it's super lightweight, but it is definitely very thin. So do keep that in mind if you are, you know, expecting to use this as a serious heavy duty shelter. I would probably not recommend that just for the fact that it's very thin. But at the same time, I like the thinness because it is very lightweight. And for the most part, I found it to do just fine uh, with most abrasion. So now I'm gonna break this thing down and show you guys what I'm talking about more in the breakdown features, talk about some of the things that came with it and go over all of that in closing thoughts. So guys, now I'm going to put this back together or I'm going to put this away essentially and show you guys just kind of how easy it can be and show you guys what I mean by the whole button situation. So there are all the buttons, and now I just find the uh, ridge line again, and essentially this shelter has now been collapsed into half. Sorry about all the wind, and uh, the wind definitely is blowing this thing around. We get some good guys. And so anyways, you guys can see there that now effectively this shelter is in half, and that makes it a lot easier to put away, especially when you're doing this just by yourself. This wind certainly makes this difficult. So there's basically the shelter put away. It's pretty fast. Now I will say one nice thing that's also included when you get this, or there's actually a couple nice things that's included when you get this from UGQ. And one is they give you about like 25 to 50 feet of bank line for tying the shelter up and everything. They also give you a really nice sack for putting this into. And I really appreciate that because not every tarp out there that you get comes with those two things. So anyways guys, I'm going to, uh, you guys don't really want to watch me just throw this in the sack. So now on to the finishing thoughts. So guys, that is it for the Underground Quilt Company or UGQ Winter Dream 11. So far, I've really loved this uh, tarp and it has been a really awesome tarp to use. I found it to be super versatile, even if you're not using it with hammocks. I've still found it to be a super useful and highly versatile tarp. And once again, I really like the fact that they throw in this high quality, very high quality sack for carrying it, as well as an additional like 25 to 50 feet of bank line. So what I really like about that is pretty much this is a one-stop shop for getting a tarp. I mean, once you get this tarp, you have the sack plus the cordage to immediately start using it. And that's something that I find really cool. I really appreciate that. Of course, this is custom made here in the US of A. So that is a really awesome fact as well. And anyways, guys, I'll have a link in the description below to where you can go check these out for yourself. They are really cool tarps and a really cool company. Anyways, guys, that's all for now and I'm out.